Hey everyone, and welcome to Madrid, where I just arrived from London aboard that A320. Now my plan was to grab some food here at the airport, but I'm an av geek and I decided to do some plane spotting instead. My flight to New York will be leaving from the satellite terminal here at Barajas Airport. I know I probably just butchered the pronunciation of that. I mean, to be honest, I did come pretty close to failing Spanish in high school. Anyway, I'll be crossing the Atlantic with Iberia today on that plane's replacement, the beautiful a350-900. Right now, Iberia has 6 A350s and 14 more on order, with the end goal of replacing all of their A340s by 2022. It'll be a sad day when the A340 leaves the Iberia fleet, but I have to admit, the A350 is an absolutely beautiful plane. This A350 has a three-class configuration, and for the next seven hours I'll be sitting in the back of the plane in economy. The economy cabin has 293 seats and a 333 layout, and I'll be sitting in 49A for this flight. First impression so far? Everything seems pretty comfortable, and it's great to see that the headrests are nice and adjustable. Having a good headrest always makes the difference when flying these long routes. I also really like the slim profile of the seat. It looks really stylish and modern in my opinion. A pillow and a blanket are waiting for each passenger when they get to their seat, and I really like how Iberia presented these. Eventually this cabin filled up, and we made our way out to the runway. Let's take a closer look around. There's a generous amount of legroom and the tray table folds out from in front of you and is nice and adjustable, although mine wasn't all that clean, but that's alright. You also have a universal outlet underneath your seat and individual reading lights, but no air nozzles. The IFE system was very responsive and you had a lot of movies and TV shows to choose from. I was really impressed with the moving map too. It's interactive, and you can modify to whatever view you like. The resolution was also really great as well. The screen also has a USB port and headphone jacks. As you'd expect, this A350 is equipped with Wi-Fi, and you can see the prices there. The crew handed out the meal about an hour into the flight. I was given the up, oh, wait for it, almost got it, second try. And here we go, yeah, I was given the hamburger with rice and tomato sauce. They also served a pasta dish, but they were all out by the time they got to me. But at least they gave you metal cutlery, which is one thing I always love to see in economy. This was a perfectly decent meal. It wasn't anything to write home about, but at the same time, I was very hungry, so I wasn't exactly complaining. One thing that did surprise me though, was that there was no pre-meal snack and drink service. On the other hand, this meal service did demonstrate how Iberia is taking steps to be more environmentally friendly, like having metal cutlery and paper straws. Looking at the airline's promotional video for the A350, they really emphasized how this was a greener plane with lower emissions. I'm not a major environmentalist or anything, but these are things that are still nice to see. In addition to having a nice amount of recline, one of the features that I really liked about the seats are these controls in the seat back monitor for the overhead lights and the flight attendant call button. As we were about halfway to our destination, we were treated to some beautiful views of the sun setting and of the famous A350 wingtip. So far, the A350 has been an absolute joy to fly on. You really notice how quiet and spacious the cabin is, and it also doesn't hurt that it has extra large overhead bins. 
This amount of comfort really helped the flight pass by, and soon enough, the cabin lights were turned on and the flight attendants began the second meal service. Everyone was given these snack boxes, and for a cold meal, I actually think this was a pretty nice spread. I should also mention that all drinks on this flight, including alcohol, were complimentary. As we flew over Boston, the fasten seatbelt sign was turned on, and we began our descent into JFK. In all, this was a fine flight. The A350 is a great plane to fly on, and the crew seemed pretty nice too. There were some things that could have been better though, like having a pre-meal snack, and I was also pretty surprised that there were no drinks offered in between meals. Now there may have been a self-service bar in the galley, but the lady sitting next to me was asleep for most of the flight, so I couldn't check it out. You could also tell that she thought I was a total weirdo for filming so much, so there's another reason why I didn't want to bother her. With that said, would I fly with Iberia again? Sure, if the price is right. I think it would be really cool to fly on their A340 before it gets retired in 2022, and I'd also like to fly on their business class in premium economy cabins. They both look really nice. Well, I'm back in New York now, and that means this video is over. As always, thanks for watching, and take care.